Hi guys, it's Anastasia again and welcome back to my channel. I hope that each of you is having a magical day. I'm always a strong advocate for healthy eating because I just think it's incredibly important for overall health and vitality and energy. I am also a strong supporter of indulging your sweet tooth every once in a while. What with the holidays just around the corner and the weather getting increasingly colder, it can be really nice to just allow yourself to indulge in a really decadent breakfast. It's also important during the holidays to enjoy old family traditions that you've enjoyed for years. And I think it's also an excellent time to explore new ones. Which is why for today's video I decided to share one of my all-time favorite family traditions and all-time favorite meals in the whole wide world with you guys in the hopes that it'll inspire you to maybe try it out for yourselves. As you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you how my family makes Ukrainian or Russian style crepes or blini or blinchiki or blinis. As you can tell, they go by a whole lot of names, but the result is the same. Absolutely delicious. So I hope that you enjoy this. Now my family cooks very organically, so we don't tend to measure things out accurately. We just kind of throw things together and if something is missing upon tasting it, we'll just kind of adjust it as we go. So I apologize that I don't have a precisely measured recipe for you guys. This is more of a here's how we do it sort of video. To make your blean chicky, what you'll need is flour, sugar, milk, eggs, vegetable oil, which I forgot to show so it's hiding just outside of the frame, and sea salt. For toppings, cinnamon is always perfect, especially if you'd like to add some fruit or berries, but my ultimate favorite crepe filling is condensed milk, which may sound strange to some as it has a reputation of being used in baking, but condensed milk straight out of the can is life but also might be the death of me. First, what you're going to do is crack open the eggs. I used approximately 12 for this batch. Once you're finished cracking the eggs, make sure to whisk them well. If you plan to make a batch as large as this one, keep in mind that the batter will take hours to run out, so make sure to also prepare a killer playlist or a festive one to keep you entertained and fit for a timely crepe flipping. If you're happy, your crepes will be too. Next, add a pinch or more of salt. The amount of sugar you'll put depends on how sweet you like your crepes. As I have a massive sweet tooth, I put at least 3 tablespoons. Then comes the milk. I used around 3 quarters of a half a gallon. Next, you'll add your flour. I used approximately 10 tablespoons, but don't take my word for it. Just approach your first crepe as a test from which you gauge what needs to be added or diluted to perfect the next one. As a rule of thumb, if the crepe comes out too frail or falls apart, add more eggs or more flour. If it's too dry, dilute the batter with milk. Make sure to stir well until your batter has a consistency like thick cream. It should look something like this. Once the mixture is complete, you can add a little bit of oil and now it is ready to take to the pan. Add a dollop of oil to the center of your pan. This should last you for the entire batch. Next, fill your ladle close to the brim with the batter and pour your first perfect crepe. Now, wait for the moment of truth. When the corners of the crepe turn brown and crispy is usually a good indicator that it is ready to flip over. If you don't like your crepes browned and prefer them pale, you can flip when the edges just begin to brown. Mm -hmm. 
If your first cray passes your taste test, repeat the steps in the process until the mixture runs out. And now you know how to make burinchiki for the perfect indulgent breakfast this holiday season. for watching guys i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you end up actually trying this out and making your own ukrainian bean chiki i would love to see what they look like so tag me in your instagram photos snap me etc i would love to see it if i don't talk to you before thanksgiving i hope you have a magical holiday with your family and i love you very much i'll see you in the next one